Okay, hey guys, this is John. This should be interesting. This is uh, quite impromptu. I'm playing Daniel in a um, three-minute game here. I was just watching his stream, and he mentioned uh, he was looking for someone to play. So I said, hey, I'll play you a game or two. And he agreed. He said he's cool with me if I record this. So let's see what happens. We actually played a game in this same-ish way back in, I think, 2014, 2015. So it's been a while. I know Danya's probably talking about this right now. Hope my recording's good. But yeah, it's just such a treat to get a game in against him. So let's see what happens. Bishop d7. Mm -hmm. um, I think c5 is probably what I play here. Maybe d5. d5, 95 though. So let's go here. I'll just play it like this. I didn't want to play an exchange Kings Indian against him. I can't do that to him in a blitz game. <laughs> I, I promised Danya that I wasn't going to clickbait him either. Uh, if I happen to post this to YouTube. Not that I'm the clickbait type anyways, but. Okay, E5. Now, Danya is so fast. I obviously don't want to get behind on the clock. We cannot have that. So let's just go knight g3. He's going to put the knight here. Let's try to play bishop d3, castles, something along those lines. Mm -hmm. A little bit there. Okay, he might be able to win that pawn. Um... Play B3. This feels a little bit weakening, but I'm going to do it. I don't want this happening. Okay, John, this is a crisis when you're playing someone like Danya, this type of time management I'm exhibiting. We cannot have that. Knight D4. Okay, dark squares are a big problem. Problem here. Probably take with a rook. That's what I would do if I were him. That is what I would play. With this, I can take here, I think. Ah, but then he has rook c4, which I imagine he's going to see. Okay, doesn't do it, though. It's a pretty good move, too, though. over yep probing on the dark squares really nasty oof and do I straight up lose a piece here okay I have c6 if I want that might be my only move only way to try to stay afloat Yeah, I think I got a sack upon here. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. Not looking good though. Rook takes. Yeah, how do I avoid losing material? Don't think I can. Do I have any tricks? Probably not. Rook c3, b4. Let's just try it. Yeah. Too easy for someone of Danya's caliber here. Time to resign. <laughs> I, I would have liked to put up a better fight than that in our, uh, in our game. But GG, Danya. That didn't go well, I think, from about this point here. Yeah, like b3. b3 is probably not a good move. I maybe should have traded queens. But honestly, this position's already not looking good. And I think once we get here, I'm already clearly worse. So let's see. Let's take a quick peek. Yeah, clearly, clearly worse. 
minus two. Uh, click into the game review for a second. Hmm. Yeah, I got to refresh my memory on this variation, clearly. Been a while since I played this. C5 is just bad in this case, relative to some of the other moves. Knight G3, B3, defend the pawn. Yeah, I just got smoked this game. What can I say? 95.9% accuracy. There you go. The difference between a, 20, a high 2700s Blitz player and an elite Blitz player recently number one on the Blitz ratings on chess.com in, in Danya. So yeah, would have liked to put up a fight more so than I did, but that's how quickly uh, reality can hit you when you're facing a fantastic player like Danya. So thanks to Danya for the game. Little impromptu Blitz game here. And maybe we'll play him again in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this.